now we will see type conversion that is casting type conversion is an important uh, topic in python type conversion means changing a value we have variables we are storing some value inside it and that value have some data type right we already discussed so there might chance like va the variable is having some value is of a, a string type we can change that a string type to another data type the type conversion means changing a value from one data type to another data type that is known as type conversion for example if you get input from the user it's always a string if you get input from a user it's it will be a string even if it looks like a number but if you want to do math with that number you have to convert it to integer or float first so suppose uh, i'll show you so first of all what is type conversion type conversion means changing a value from one type to another data type we'll see some example like um, so when when the user gives some input h from a form or something from application like from any website or anywhere when user gives some input suppose that input is in a suppose that input is in a a string variable I'll means input is in a string data type so if you want to do some calculation or some uh, basic math on it you have to first convert it to a number number means this one this 18 without the quotes so for that we will use type conversion so how we can use it so so to use that we just simply apply the keyword keyword of the data type so here for number for integer we already saw here right for integer the integer data type means int is a keyword so we will apply that keyword on that variable here like this now if we will print age num we will show you if we will print age num and age you can see the difference we will also print the type we already know how to check the type of a data type right using a type function so we will check the type also here now we will have print type function age now we'll uh, execute this and we'll run this and we'll see the output you can see right this 18 this age is a, a string data type and this age which we have which we got after type conversion after applying the int key using the int keyword we have converted the a string to int so this is what type conversion is how we like you here we change the string 18 to a number using int and now we can do math or any calculation with it what are the common mistakes that we do some common mistakes we do with data types and variables so the basic mistakes which we do is trying to combine trying to combine text and numbers which will give error so i will show you if we suppose here we are trying to print a string age is and together we are trying to and then we are adding this 18 it will give error see it's giving error only it can only use a string not integer together it's because it's a it's a string and we are adding here a number so we cannot combine text and numbers together now it will give you age is 18 so before so because of this only like suppose in our code it's written like this or or we or from anywhere from somewhere from api api which we will learn later from api or from backend we are getting a data but the data is a number and we want to uh, show that in our uh, 
web side or in front end so what we will do first we will convert it to a string using a string keyword like this so we can you convert type or we can convert a string to integer integer to a string these things you already got yeah i already saw you now we'll convert the other thing also suppose we have float to convert uh, any number to a float we can use like this float age to convert something to boolean we can use bool age to convert something to a string we already saw int already list tuple or some data structure that we'll see later so this is how we do type conversion i think you already understood now now we will see what is boolean in python what is boolean boolean in python so boolean is basically a um, data type a boolean a boolean is a data type is a data type that has only two possible values that has only is a data type that has only two possible values it can be either true or false uh you can you can use it to represent yes no conditions when we like when you are working on a real world software and you you like there will be multiple uh chances where we have to write yes no conditions uh like if so suppose you are working on a login page you are working on a uh, login page of a application or website you already see in your daily life when you when you log into a suppose you are log into a food food um, delivery application where we there we have two option are you log in as a uh, delivery boy or log in as a customer so what here we are doing log in as a customer or log in as a delivery boy so inside the user there will be there will there will be a true false variable boolean is so i'll show you some example that has only true or false true or false okay so suppose uh, you are working in a food food delivery application and you uh, you are trying to log in so each user delivery boy this is how your application will get to know that the user is a delivery boy it can be true or it can be false right we can assign the value let to false if the user want to a delivery boy if the if the user is not a delivery boy it's false so a boolean boolean is a data type that has only two possible values that has only two possible values that has only two possible values true or false hope you understand hope you understood what is boolean now we'll move to next topic that is dynam dynamic typing we'll move to dynamic typing dynamic typing in python so now we'll uh, see what is dynamic typing that see python is a dynamically typed language which means you don't have to tell the type of a variable you don't have to uh, uh, like you don't have to tell the python like this is my data type python will automatically understands based on the value you assign so python is a dynamically typed language dynamically typed language which means you don't have to tell the type of a variable python will automatically understand based on the, based on the value you assign so suppose here we are defining a variable x is equal to 10 python c python automatically understand that this is an integer python c it automatically it as an integer it as an integer 
we don't have to define we don't have to tell python that hey this is int we don't have to do like this something like this int x is equal to 10 it will automatically it will automatically uh, understand that this is an integer so we don't have to tell the python that this is an integer suppose we here we have defined hello now python c x as a string automatically so this may this makes python easier to use but it also means you have to be careful when using variable don't mix types don't mix types by mistake 